Okay, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And I thought that was, that was a nice way to think about your, your life. I didn't believe in weekends. I didn't believe in vacation. Uh, you know, it meant that I, there were a lot of people who probably could have helped me that just didn't fit in because I had this very narrow view of the working style, the talking style. You know, if AI could do Prime Minister's Question Time for me every week, <laughs> that would be great. I've been using it, you know, to write little poems and songs and things. And uh, I admit to people that I actually got help from the AI. I don't try and, <laughs> and cover it up. Today, we're going to be interviewed by an AI. All right, let's go. How do you think technology will impact the global economy and job market in the next 10 years? Well, we clearly need to be more efficient. There's a labor shortage, you know, in healthcare and education. If you go to the low-income countries, they never have enough doctors, they never have enough teachers. So, you know, hopefully technology, like the one that generated this question, can help us uh, be more efficient. Probably one of the best quotes someone gave me when I started out was, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And I thought that was, that was a nice way to think about your, your life. And it doesn't mean you should be soft, doesn't mean you can't take tough decisions and be firm. But I think it means treating people with decency and kindness and empathy. I've had great advice. You know, Warren Buffett talked about, uh, you know, in the end, it's how, you know, friends really think of you and how strong those friendships are. Uh, that was great advice. I think, I mean, it's, it's similar, actually, related to what you said is, I think you, I, you know, I came from a kind of immigrant family and mentality <laughs> was just keep working, keep moving on the next thing and trying to get ahead. And I think actually, over time, I've come to realize you've got to live a little bit more in the moment. Bill, what's the one thing about your job that you wish AI could do for you? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes when I'm writing notes and I wanna make them clever, uh, or I wanna put a little drawing. I'm not very good at drawing, but now that I can just type in, you know, take this photo, change it this way, change it this way. I've been using it, you know, to write little poems and songs and things. And uh, I admit to people that I actually got help from the AI. I don't try and, <laughs> and cover it up because otherwise they think I can write songs on the spot. Looking to the future, what gives you the most hope for the world and what actions can individuals and governments take to create a better future for all? Well, fortunately, in the face of all these problems, uh, we have human innovation. You know, climate change, very daunting. The number of things we have to change, the speed, uh, you know, the inequity still in the world where even though we cut child to death from 10 million a year to 5 million a year with things like Gobby that delivered vaccines, you know, still 5 million is too much. But we're inventing new vaccines. As bad as the pandemic was, it accelerated vaccine science at places like Oxford. Uh, they're working on a malaria vaccine. Uh, so my optimism and hope is that we've got more people being educated all over the world. Uh, we've got more sharing of information. Young people want to work on the tough problems like inequity, like climate. Uh, and so I think, you know, even though it's daunting and, you know, the economic cycle is challenging us right now, uh, I think, you know, the future is very, very bright. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. And the thing that really gives me hope though is the humanity that I've seen from the country over the past few years as a senior politician first during COVID and then more recently during Ukraine you know just seeing how people can come together to support each other to get through a difficult time open up their hearts open up their homes and be there for each other is actually something that you know, should fill us all with hope that we will be able to deal with whatever comes our way and get through it. Yeah, right here at Imperial they're coming up with ways of killing mosquitoes uh, and we can save 400,000 lives a year if we can uh, kill mosquitoes to help us get rid of malaria. Yeah. So uh, we're in a, a place of, of fantastic innovation. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.